11-year-old Damien Omler slams his back against his wheelchair as he watches guitarist Slash shredding on the TV. <laughs> Damien's mom, Gracie Omler, says he loves to jam out to 80s rock legends at his home in Linda Vista. Do you want more or you're all done? You want to get out? Mm, where you want to go? Damien can't walk. Sometimes he needs a feeding tube and he gets help using the bathroom. But he also has lots Three. of fun. Awesome. Two. We'll take him to that. One. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While Damien can't communicate, he's always laughing. <laughs> he just loves being silly. He's your typical boy. Yeah, he likes to throw things. Or he likes you to play with up? brothers. <laughs> Damien has a form of congenital disorders of glycosylation, or CDG for short. It's a type of extremely rare disease that causes the body's cells to malfunction because sugars aren't properly attaching to proteins. But there are over a hundred different forms of CDG because different genetic abnormalities can lead to this poor sugar-protein connection. So Father Donnie Omler says for years they didn't have a specific diagnosis. They were calling it CDGX because there was no subtype to it. So uh, that was... That was kind of uncertainty. It was kind of a bit of a downer for us because we were like, okay, how do, how do we include ourselves with everybody else in the CDG community? But when scientists at Sanford Burnham Previs Medical Discovery Institute in La Jolla took on the case five years ago, they were able to find the mutation. Doctors searched for several years to find another patient with Damien's mutation, but they couldn't find one. And after consulting with the National Institutes of Health, doctors say Damien has a new type of CDG. And as far as they know, he's the only person in the world with it. I've been involved in diagnosis of 400 different patients. At his lab in La Jolla, genetics researcher Hudson Freeze points to a wall filled with numerous photos of children he's worked with who have CDG or other conditions. That's my sister. And she's also disabled. And so, you know, I kind of know what it's like for the families to go through all the struggles that they have. Freeze started working with Damien five years ago when UC San Diego doctors turned the case and Damien's skin cells over to him. What they found is an entirely new gene in a DNA sequence where CDG can develop. So they're calling this disease CDG-GET4, which refers to that mutated gene in Damien's body that's stopping proteins from being guided to the right place. What it does is to help proteins go from where they're made within a cell and gets them to the right place. Now, it's not that they just sort of um, walk a road on their own. They have helpers. They have chaperones along the way. And with Damien's, one of his chaperones was almost completely gone. Fries and says this discovery is significant because understanding which mutations lead to CDG can help scientists design more therapies to treat it. What this does is to open up a whole new pathway of thinking for people who said, well, I never thought about possibilities in that group of, of genes or that kind of physiological function, but maybe I better go look for those now. And that could open doors for other CDG patients to also get treatment. In Damien's case, Free says there's one drug that he knows of which could potentially help Damien, but it has some uncomfortable side effects. He says the other benefit of finding these genetic mutations is that people can do more family planning if they know the mutation is hereditary. And, of course, families can also get some sense of closure. <laughs> and back at the Omler family house, Damien's father, Donnie, says that's been huge. When we found that out, it was kind of, kind of more of a perspective for us to understand how rare Damien actually is. Uh, that was... breathtaking for us. He says special needs parents are often left with questions, and even with the diagnosis, they'll still want to learn more. We told everybody we'd take, take it one day at a time. That's all you can do. In the meantime, they think it's important for special needs parents to know they have a community of support. And Free says he believes as Damien's case gets more publicity, more patients like him will be discovered and could potentially get treated. Bye. -bye. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS Bye. News. Thank <laughs> you.